video in this video we'll discuss an important feature in power apps called as solution checker most of the times when we work on different projects we use solutions right to encapsulate or um, package different types of components inside a solution but we don't know what is the potential error behind each component that might cause an issue in down the line right so for that microsoft has already introduced for example let's say you have not followed some best practices because of that it may cause some warning some critical error in future so before that before moving your solution to target environment it is very important to check if any object of your solution or component of your solution may uh, have some potential error uh, that you need to fix beforehand so for that so this is my solution here you can see my, i have 60 components and if you go to overview you will find there is a section called a solution checker and the solution checker if you click on run check it will uh, run or it will kick start a solution checker service or application in background and uh, it will scan all components of this solution and extract a report with potential issues or warnings so that as a developer we can fix that issues if it is critical then we can move the solution from target from source to target environment so let us wait for for some couple of seconds so that uh, we can check the report okay solution checker exp exposed or defined a report uh, where it found one critical issue there is no high importance error issue but 126 medium issue and there is no low impact uh, issues so let us understand what is the critical issue click on show all results which will display all the results of the check now this is the critical issue what is that critical issue it is telling that you can you can check the issue uh, the critical severity issue is there are two formula issues for the app reported by the app checker that are very high sensitive or severity the issues can be reviewed in the design mode of the app that means i have the app in manage uh, fbs student which is a canvas app where i have two issues now what i will do i can i can fix that so let me go to the so here one by one you can check what is the other issues also but first let us take the uh, uh, take the resolution for the critical then you can go for medium okay so check critical issue so let us go to the object fbs student this is the app i have how i know that this app is throwing critical issue because it was displayed in the report so this is the issue this is the app so let me edit this and edit in new tab when you click on edit in new tab the canvas app will open in the designer in a new tab where i can check the issue in canvas app also we have a app checker and that need to be clicked before the app is ready for publishing right so if you missed the app checker uh, option in the canvas app in power apps then uh, do it before it is ready for distribution so let us wait for the app it is loading it's getting ready now it is ready so now i will check the app checker first because i don't know where the formula issue is there so i will do the app checker option to check uh, a, which component or which screen or which formula is showing error which is tracked by the solution checker service or feature it is taking some time to load but we have to wait let me refresh again if it is taking much time you can click the refresh button in the browser again so that it will press load the app okay now it is still loading if you you could you if you would have already selected the um, 
uh, app checker in canvas app uh, in solution checker it would not be a critical error because we have skipped the app checker in canvas app that's why it is showing error but some problem is there it is reloading multiple times let us wait for some couple of seconds If it is not loading correctly, what we will do, we will just go here in the screen and try to click the app name. Yeah, now it opened. Okay, that's fine then. So it is opened. It, it, take, it took time, but it opened the uh, app in the studio. I don't need to open it again go back so here you can close this read only notification and uh, you can click on override option to edit right here you can see if you click on override it will uh, it will allow you to edit the app but here in the right top corner you will you will find there is a app checker so in app checker also there is a issue so what it is telling in the app checker if you click on this app checker in the error it is showing there are two errors so click on here and i think i have created a component but i have not completed but which is not required so let me delete this component which is not required i kept it uh, as an orphan so that's why the problem so now you can click on this app checker now there is no error right no formula error no runtime error but there are some accessibility errors which is also tracked in uh, solution checker as a medium uh, severity so click on here and you can check one by one right so missing accessible labels most of the times for all components uh, we define accessible label property so you have to define because it is a accessibility um, feature that you have to add so here it is blank right you can add back arrow right so accessible means if the image is not available for some reason this accessible label will display here okay so this accessible label is missing for others also for other components you can fix it these are called as uh, missing accessible labels next uh, what others let me go to accessibility is i told you that how to fix it and performance there is some issue okay unused variables if you have unused variables also you do not need it you have to clear that right what is that variable let me check that remove unused variable so location is view all student source filter so you might have used some filters or uh, uh, formula where you have used some variables that you can move it insufficient delay loading so the point here is you have to fix all those performance issues and critical issues from here rather than uh, using solution checker so once you do this and save this you can close then if you run the solution checker then the critical errors will disappear it is now showing critical one now let me run check again until and unless all the uh, severity is fixed do not export your solution for target environment otherwise it will cause issue in target environment right that's why solution checker is there as a gateway uh, to find out potential issues that might occur in target environment when you export your solution with uh, with not following correct best practices 
or following incorrect uh, uh, formulas or any any such uh, rules that you have broken okay so uh, if you want to check all the rules and uh, all the rules and best practices that solution checker is doing microsoft is already published right now this is showing one critical issue is it the same issue if it is the same issue then you have to yeah this is the same issue that means you have not published the published the app when i have updated the app i have not published that once it is published you have to publish the solution also then you run the solution checker which will uh, disappear the critical one right so this is how you can use solution checker and fix the issues right thanks everyone watching this video see you next time bye